Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will learn what percentiles are related to fetal biometric parameters in obstetric ultrasound. Percentiles are used to compare a baby's growth to that of other babies of the same age. It's a way of seeing whether a fetus is growing bigger, smaller or about the same size as expected for their gestational age. You hear terms like 10th percentile, 50th percentile, 90th percentile, etc. These are tables showing fetal biparietal diameter and femur length. If a measurement of BPD, for example, is 53 millimeters in a fetus of 22 weeks gestation, then according to this table, it is in the 50th percentile. It means that the measurement is right in the middle. It is bigger than 50% of babies, but smaller than the other 50%. If a femur length measurement is 37 millimeters for a 22 week fetus, it is in the 25th percentile according to this table. And this measurement is smaller than 75% of other fetuses and only 25% are smaller than this fetus. If a femur length measurement is 53 millimeters in a 30 week fetus, it falls in 10th percentile according to this table. We are using this table as reference. If a BPD measurement is 71 millimeters in a 30 week fetus, it falls into the 5th percentile according to this table. Now the main thing to understand is which measurements are considered normal and which measurements are considered abnormal. Measurements that fall in the 10th to 90th percentiles are considered normal. The 10th to 90th percentile measurements are usually considered normal. Measurements that fall below 10th percentile are considered abnormally short. The values in the 2.5 and 5th percentiles are considered short or small for gestational age and can indicate intrauterine growth restriction. Measurements that exceed 90th percentile are usually considered large for gestational age. The values that are in the 95th and 97.5 percentiles in this table are considered larger than normal. Large values may indicate conditions such as macrosomia, which is excessive fetal weight. To summarize, the 10th to 90th percentiles are considered normal. Percentiles less than 10 are considered abnormally small and percentiles greater than 90th are abnormally large. But these abnormal values don't always indicate growth restriction or macrosomia. Proper monitoring is required to fully diagnose these conditions. Sometimes a femur length falling in the 5th percentile at 22 weeks becomes normal later on in pregnancy. It may fall into 50th percentile later on in pregnancy. This is usually due to normal variation in growth. Some babies simply grow at different rates. It is possible for a baby to start off small and catch up later, especially if growth spurts happen during the third trimester. This would be a case of natural variation where the baby just grows a bit slower at first and then speeds up. Genetics play a significant role in a baby's size. If the parents are naturally shorter, the fetus might tend to stay in lower percentiles for length. In this case, the femur length might remain on the lower side throughout pregnancy without indicating a health problem. Follow-up scans are performed to monitor the fetal growth over time. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.